so today we'll see what are the services background services in the android we'll see okay see android documentation what says about the services service is an what you can say service is an application component which is running or which which perform long running tasks right which can perform long running task in the background that is very important it is doing long running task in the background and it does not have any user interface so it is faceless components of the android right these are the faceless components of the android another application component can start the service and it continues to run in the background even if user switches to another application or it is going to kill the current ui application still service runs in the background okay so service can do ipc right service are going to use to play the music perform the file io some heavy operation suppose you are developing location tracking right if you are making some location tracking application and then if you want to track the location in the background continuously you would be writing continuously one service right so by the definition or the by the documentation three there are android documentation has suggested three different types of the services scheduled started and the bounded right i'm not going to cover this this is bit different than the services scheduled services right i'm going to upload video for this afterwards but present in this services topic i'm not go going to cover this thing right scheduled services is bit different and only for the 5.0 and above that is api level 21 but if you are looking for from ice cream sandwich to the nugget then you you need to use traditional services way right okay so by the time services will take two types one is started and another is bound services bound services for performing inter process communication and start services for the background operations right means if you want to download the file and meanwhile you are going to type the email you are going to use the started service right if you want to get connected with any currently running service if you want to get connected with the currently running service and if you want to get benefit of something then you are going to use bounded service it is a kind of inter process communication ipc or if you are from java development background you might have, you might have heard about rmi remote method invocation so remote method invocation you can relate with the ipc in the android we are going to achieve rmi using i ai dl android interface definition languages right we are going to achieve this thing using ai dl okay now who can start the service right you you would be needing the intent to start the service you would be having some intent to start the service right see now service is also having its own life cycle likewise the activity service is having its own life cycle generally can you see this thing these are the most important callback methods that you should override generally they have not added but you can add generally not all the methods all the time on start command right this method invoked if you are going to start the service by the call start service so you can start the service in android using two ways right we have seen there are two types of the services started and the bounded right you can start the service either using start service or you can start the service using bind service if you are going to start the service by the call start service this method is going to get invoked on start command this life cycle method is going to get invoked okay started service can be stopped itself means if your download is going if file is going to get download is going to get completed your that service itself call stop self after completion of download right or there would be another component if you want to pause and resume the download you need to have one ui one activity activity would be stopping and again restarting the service that's also possible right another component can start and stop or service itself can stop stop right that's what they are saying over here on bind this system invokes this method by the call bind service when another component wants to bind with the service such as the rpc service is holding one object and if you want to get connected 
or if you want to get access to that object you would be calling on bind or you would be dealing with the another way of working with the service that is bind services okay on create system invokes this method to perform the setup procedures when service initially created right before it calls on start command and on bind before this on create is getting called on destroy see the system invokes this method when service is no longer used and being destroyed then at that time it is going to call on destroy method right okay then this how you are going to register the service in the manifest file it is a hard component it should be registered under the application tag service and the name of the service right service and the name of the service okay now traditionally there are two classes means if you want to create the service you can either extend to the service or you can extend to the intent service so what happens is that we'll see we'll see in the next tutorial how you are going to actually create the service what do you mean by service and what do you mean by intent service one is related to the threading and one can skip the threading part right one has to use with the threading one can skip the part we'll see in the next tutorial okay if you like our videos kindly subscribe us on the code cool channel